Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to It's Poppin' where we talk about everything pop-up camper related. So in this video, we're gonna show you guys how to make your own Reflectix um, inserts for your bunk end windows. So these are gonna slide right into your bunk end windows and provide not only that insulative factor, but also reflect a lot of that sunlight uh, to keep out some of the heat. Additionally, what we're gonna show you is how to um, not really make these because these are pre-made, but essentially how to um, install these on the top of your bunk ends to um, keep even more of that sunlight um, out of your bunk ends and reflecting off. So I'm gonna show you both the uh, reflective, Reflectix inserts and these, um, they're called all weather blankets or space blankets or emergency blankets, whatever you wanna call them. Um, how to install those on your pop-up camper. So stay tuned. All right guys, let me show you what we all use for this project. So as far as the kind of space blankets, survival blankets, um, you know, reflect the blankets, whatever, it's, Obviously two of these guys, one per bunk. This is uh, OD green, but of course it has the reflective material on the outside. And then six binder clips per blanket. That way you can do three each side and we just binder clip the uh, blanket um, right to the edges or the seams of the um, top of the canopy of the bunk ends. So that's that. And as a side note, the binder clips are really helpful for um, when you're tracing out your Reflectix um, and when you're cutting those out. So as far as the Reflectix, what we um, needed were two 10-foot um, rolls of the 24-inch tall Reflectix, and then also we needed uh, two 25-foot uh, rolls, so 50-foot total, of the 16 inch tall uh, Reflectix. And now what all of that enabled us to do was to do, of course, both bunk ends, all three windows on each bunk end. And then we also had a little le bit left over to do the large window on our slide out, um, utilizing the uh, 16 inch stuff, of course, taped together. So that brings me up to the uh, reflective Reflectix tape. We used two uh, rolls, and I think each roll was 30 feet each. This is how much we were left with, so not much, but maybe half a roll. And as I'll explain in the video, we use this to tape together the 16 inch stuff to make it uh, 32 inches tall when we needed it. So that's all that stuff. Of course, we use a tape measure to measure off how much I needed to uh, cut each uh, piece. Scissors for cutting the Reflectix, and then of course, uh, Sharpies never hurts um, for both when you're cutting it, and when you first uh, create, as I'll explain in the video of course, um, when you first create uh, one bunk in size, you can just take that one, trace it, and then cut out uh, your second one. And uh, we also just used a ruler or a, a square like this for, for making some straight cuts on the Reflectix. So this is everything we needed to do this project. Okay guys, for the first one we're gonna do the bunk end. Now we measured from single stitch right here to single stitch. That way there's a little bit of overlap. Now for this particular camper, it's gonna be 71 inches. So we're gonna go over to the Reflectix measure off 71 inches and then square it off and cut it. Now what I'm doing with my left hand that you can't see is I'm holding this uh, down in place so that it doesn't move on us. And the first cut can just be kind of a rough cut and once the majority of the excess is out of the way you can go back and clean up um, clean up your uh, cut lines. Mm -hmm. 
So here it is with the interior panel zipped up compared to without the Reflectix, a lot more sunlight coming in than the one with it. And here's just a quick shot of how it looks on the exterior. Okay, so now that that uh, far bunk end one is done, what you can do is take the already completed one, already cut one, and trace it on your next piece of Reflectix and use it as a template for the other opposite bunk end. And that's the same on each window side as long as the um, as long as it's the same size bed. So cut one and then you can trace it as many times as you need to for each side. Okay guys, for the side, it's gonna be from single stitch to single stitch, 61 and a quarter. So what we're gonna do is now take the 16 inch tall Reflectix rolls, cut two at that 61 and a quarter, and then um, stack them one on top of the other uh, essentially, and then use that Reflectix tape uh, to um, to tape them together down the middle. And then we're going to essentially repeat what we did for the uh, first one and uh, and trace it uh, along the zipper edge and cut to size. Are you even over there? Mm -hmm. Cut. What, so I don't pop the bubbles? Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so one quick tip is to actually, um, over here as you can see, we just zipped it up maybe like four inches and stuck the corner in. And then that way it keeps the Reflectix in, uh, in the corner where you need it. Same on the other side, uh, so that way it doesn't shift around when you're trimming it off the top like we we're doing right here. And this is actually the slide out. We ended up having enough of the 16 inch to actually do the big window on the slide out. So we thought we might as well do it while we're uh, making the inserts for the uh, bunk ends as well. All right guys, so here they are with the uh, survival blanket on top. So let's take a look at how everything looks. So one note on the uh, survival blanket, at least for our pop-up, as you can see, it only covers maybe 80%. So that's a trade-off you might have to make. Um, clearly you can get the more expensive pop-up gizmos that are custom fitted for each bunk end, but um, these, maybe for two of them, will be maybe 25% of the cost of the pop-up gizmos. Now, granted, they're not gonna be as like um, high wind resistant or anything like that. Speaking of which, I'll show you guys how we mount ours simple binder clips um, three of them on each side and then we just tuck um, the top under the roof so it's kind of a you know no to low wind option I don't know how well they'll do in like a high wind uh, scenario but it, as long as they're just on but with binder clips um, they're not gonna go too far too fast so between the Reflectix and the survival blankets, it's a pretty um, cost effective way to really reduce the heat or cold if you're uh, camping in um, cold weather. So hopefully these uh, two things will help you guys, especially right now when it's so hot out um, with beating the heat when you're out pop-up camping. 
Hopefully we'll see you out there. Thank you.